Hi everyone, so um, I know it's been a little while since my last video but um, I think I said in my last one that I'd do one on my favourite shoes so let me just first start off by saying I have a lot of shoes I have a lot of shoes and this video is not even a small interpretation to the amount of shoes I actually own and even just taking out all the shoes well some of the shoes that I do own took me at least half an hour to unbox them this that and the other because I like to keep all my shoes in their boxes so as to keep them fresh and basically in the condition to which they were bought in um, uh, I also all these shoes were bought by myself I am a grown woman in her 20s with a disposable income and a full-time job so I have bought the majority of these shoes myself if not some of them were either on sale or as gifts bought for me by someone special and uh, yeah I love shoes anyway let me first start off by showing you a couple of older purchases so these are a pair of sparkly flat sneakers with a piece of hair attached <laughs> um, these were £20 reduced to £6 on sale in December um, I've worn them quite a lot and they're very comfortable I love them um, another pair I have are these flip flops they are in a beautiful green colour I love them I wear them a lot especially this summer I bought these last summer for about £25 and then this summer they came out in a gorgeous purple colour so I bought them again uh, for the same price um, let's see another pair I have are these brogues now I'm sure a lot of you know that brogues are the new ballet pumps they're very comfortable I wear them well I can get away with wearing them at work sometimes obviously due to the colour I, I don't really try tend to get quite boring shoes because I love uh, very eccentric types of shoes and uh, as I said before shoes are the exclamation point at the end of a fashion statement cheesy I know yeah. and these were I think 25 pounds I think I bought them recently they're from Topshop uh, you can get them still and I also bought them in this color in black red and green for the same price they also come in a blue color but I didn't really like the blue ones um let's see where else these shoes they're very battered and old they're in metallic purple they are very very battered i've worn them loads they are from office london and i think they cost about 60 pounds these are a testament to one of my best friends who's also got a fabulous taste she bought them i saw them on her feet and i went and bought them too um another pair i have are these these are uh, blue and they're kind of snake skinny print I'm not sure if you can quite see them they are actually really comfortable they're one of my most comfortable stilettos they're from Topshop which as I've mentioned before is one of my favorite places um, I think these were about 60 pounds um, I also keep all the receipts and the dates from which I bought them just in case just to remind myself um, one of my other favourite pairs of shoes are these. They're gorgeous. They're very satiny material. I love the bow on the front. It's sequiny and whatnot. I bought these apparently according to my receipt in 2006. So they're three years old. They're very good condition. I've worn them a fair few times. They were £45. Um, another pair of shoes I have are these patent red stilettos. They are quite high. Um, to be honest, some of the heels that I've got look a lot higher than others, but sometimes it's the angle to which they are on the inside uh, determines on how easy they are to walk in. These cost me about £55. I bought them, I think it was the beginning of the year, or maybe, no. It was about a year ago, yeah, about a year ago. Um, I've also got these shoes. They're called Rocky Horror Shoes. They're really cool these are also from office in london i've also got them in patent black they cost me 60 pounds and i got these for 35 because they were half price on sale which is a bargain um let's see what next okay these gladiator sandals they are really really cool 
with all different types of designs on them, woven, metallic silver. Now these I originally wanted in black. Um, I'd seen them in a magazine and the day they came out they sold out within hours so I was only left with the white pair which are also beautiful. I mean they've got a zip on the back and I think they cost £85 which is quite a lot of money to be honest for a pair of gladiator sandals but they were worth it. I loved them. I think it was about a year ago I bought these. I love office shoes. Another pair from office which I got in 0109 so in January are these can you see the sparkly color on them they're like they're like patent but with little purple and blue sparkles it's so delicate that you can barely see it can you see and I love the little heart purple heart detailing on the front and the cute little fan there these are gorgeous. I've worn them quite a few times as well. And they are actually very comfortable. They cost me £55. Um, let's see. I got these, which I call my Barbie doll shoes. These are super high to walk in. I've only worn them once. Uh, they are what I call, you call limo shoes. Literally, you get a lift. Uh, you walk two steps, sit down. Uh, spend your night wherever you are, sitting down. And then walk two steps back to the car. They were £55 from Topshop. I got these at Christmas. These are my only designer pair that I have. They're by Eli Kishimoto. They are patent silver, uh, metallic, uh, sorry, patent bow, metallic silver, pink, and they are also tweed. They were about £100 on sale. I love these ones. These are my Eli Kish... No, no, that was my other ones. These are my Fawn Arena shoes. I love the design on the back. The woman reminds a little bit of me a little oriental looking woman and these were from Fawn Arena and they were on sale from 100 I think 50 to about 90 I love the design in the middle as well um, a couple of gladiators that I've got these ones you can still buy in faith now with multi-coloured snakeskin detailing on them they cost me £40 and I only bought them at the beginning of the summer. I got these, which I call my Wonder Woman sandals. They're from Office London. And they cost £65, which Gladiator sandals in Office seem to cost quite a lot of money. They also come in black and gold, but I preferred these because they're a little bit more out there. Um, I got these patent shoes. That's just the receipt inside there. And I also got them in black. Little heels. I got them both reduced from £60 to £25. Not bad at all if I do say so myself. And I'll just quickly show you some of my recent purchases. Oh no, sorry. These. I think they were about £45 from Topshop. They are quite high to walk in, quite difficult to walk in. These are um, kind of velvety material. These shoes from Topshop, I got them about, let's see, 07, two years ago. They cost £65. These are probably my highest pair. I've worn them once or twice. They're from Office London as well. They cost me £90. I love them, but they are quite dangerous to walk in. Um, yeah, some of my most recent purchases. These are lovely. These are also a recommendation from my best friend. I got them reduced in faith for to 40 pounds these i love they're cream colored high heeled and they i got reduced from 100 and something to 80 pounds and these are my most recent ones from river island you can still buy them and they come in multiple colors and they were 74.99 as a gift from my daddy so i've probably got over 100 pairs of shoes i've got a lot more but i hope you enjoyed the ones that i've shown you today thank you bye